Hi there, my name's Rob. I'm one of the brass teachers here at Dorks Music. Today, I'm here playing on some straight mutes. I've got three straight mutes here that I'll be playing today. The first that I was just playing is this new Huber straight mute. And then I've got these classics that I'm sure you'll know and love, the Humes and Berg and Dennis Wick straight mutes. So what I'm gonna do is have a blow on all three of them so you get to hear what all three of them sound like in contrast to each other. Um, and then I'm just gonna have a chat about what I like about each mute and how I think they differ to play. So I'm gonna start off with this Humes and Berg. So that was a Humes and Berg. I'm going to now move on to the familiar Dennis Wick. And finally, we're going to move on to this Huber straight meat. So that's the three straight mutes we've got here today. It's really good to have these three mutes here because they all offer a different sort of sound. The, the Humes and Berg mute, I think, has a, a softer tone and a, a softer timbre to, to the tone that it produces, whereas the Dennis Wick has quite a metallic tone. Um, now, the interesting thing about the Huber straight mute is even though it's plastic, it can actually offer a wide range of different timbres to the, the sound that it produces. An amazing thing about this 3D printed mute is that the bases are actually interchangeable. So the standard straight mute comes with two bases, uh, this smaller one and this larger one, um, which is brilliant. The smaller one is, uh, produces a tone that sounds more similar to the Humesenberg, whereas the bigger bass offers a more metallic sound, which will get you your more sort of Dennis Wick sounding uh, timbre. So for me, I would definitely go for this Huber mute because as it comes with the two basses, you are prepared then for any sort of sound from a, a straight mute that you could ever want. If you want to play something in a more tinny metallic way, then you can um, replace it with the, the bigger bass. And if you wanted, that uh, more classic Humes and Berg style can use this smaller one. Not only that, but as an additional extra, you can get this uh, jazz buzzer bass, which has a, a really, really unique sound. Um, and if you wanna hear what that sounds like, then check out our other videos uh, that we've done previously on these Huber mutes. <laughs> 